What's up creator? Today I'm going to show you two new models that are in Sogni. We've got Flux.1 Kriya, which is a really awesome photorealistic model. Kind of gets rid of that AI waxy skin oversaturated look that we kind of see in a lot of AI generated images. It's an opinionated model. It wants to do photorealistic stuff and it's exceptionally good at it. The second model is Flux Chroma and this one is a not an opinionated model. It can do pretty much anything that you want. There's two different versions of Chroma. I'm going to show you both of them and I'm going to show you Kriya right now. Check this out. So what I want to do first is I want to show you what regular Flux Schnell will generate, the Flux that's been on Sogni for a long time, the really fast one, and then I'll show you the what we can do with a better model. First, let's drop in our, ooh, look at that, I got a gift. Let's claim my rewards. Always gotta claim my daily spark. Sweet. Okay, here is my prompt. I've got a rugged post-apocalyptic warrior woman standing next to a rustic car. If you wanna read the whole thing, you can pause the video and check it out. Now, since this is gonna be a cinematic image, I'm gonna change my aspect ratio. Let's go ultra wide here so that we can make a sweet cinematic one. And since this is flux Schnell, it generates really, really quickly, but you can immediately see that we're getting that very clear AI look. It's very contrasty, I don't know, almost clean. This is supposed to be a post-apocalyptic image, not super clean. So let's switch things up. We're gonna go over, we've got our new flux models at the top. We're gonna go to flux Kriya right here and select it. Now you'll notice this is defaulting to 20 steps down here, whereas we generated it much more quickly in, in Flux Schnell. So this is gonna take a little bit longer, but it'll still be quick because we're doing it on the Sogni Supernet. Nice, there we go. See, this is already a much better image. Uh, as I said, Flux Kriya is wants to generate photorealistic images and I kind of just asked it to do a fantasy scene. So let's get a more photorealistic prompt in there. Here is my prompt, portrait of a weathered fisherman mending nets by a harbor and so on. Just one more time for comparison, let's let's first pop it into Chanel. And that is the waxy skin texture that I, I love to see. I don't love to see it. That's the waxy skin texture that we get as the AI look. Although at least it did the fingers right because you know, it's flex, it does a great job. Now let's go back to Kriya. It's also worth noting, you'll see that these symbols down here when you're selecting the model that has the flag and that lets you know that you need to use premium spark to use this model. And the reason why is because we're actually paying monthly to license this model. It's not an open source model. And so it is a premium model. Now let's imagine. See this? It's like already, it's just, it's so much more photorealistic. This is like the same guy twice at the top. That's pretty interesting. I mean, it's just so much better in terms of making photos. Let's do a couple more. Here's a new prompt. Let's drop it in. Ah, I love it. It looks so good. Let's change our aspect ratio though. A standard 17 by nine or seven by nine. That sounds good. Nice. Ah, see, these are just, that's great. That's actually really good looking. Like, well, the splash is a bit over the top in that one, but, uh, Generally speaking, I think like this one, nobody would think twice if they just saw that and wondering if it's an AI image. And here is our next one, a ballerina adjusting pointy sh <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that's not how you pronounce pointy shoes uh, backstage. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's see what uh, Flux Kriya comes up with this one. Anytime I use other image generators, they just feel so slow because I'm so used to using Sogni. It's amazing. This is great. I and mean, look at that. Again, it's like you're getting softer textures. There's like imperfections on the mirror just for funsies. Before we switch to Chroma, let's do one more comparison with Chanel and see what it comes up with. Yep, immediately you notice that it's more contrasty, it's more saturated. Let's switch over to Chroma. Swap out of here and we're gonna do Chroma. And we've got two different versions of Chroma. We've got uh, version 46, which is a fast flash model. And we have version 48, which is a more detailed model. And I'm gonna pull in, let's get kind of a crazier prompt. Here we go, we have a psychedelic alien landscape with crystalline formations and floating islands. Classic, crazy AI prompt with floating islands, and I love it. Let's do a different aspect ratio. I like, I really like mixing up with the aspect ratios. And let's imagine. You'll notice that this is defaulting to 12 steps. Unless I notice a reason to change the steps, the default ones are actually pretty good. Oh, see, that's cool. This is really interesting because we're getting very consistent uh, look on each of them. Let's compare this with version 48, the detail calibrated version of Chroma, which is going to be 26 steps, whereas the other one was 12. And let's see what it comes up with. Now, this is probably not what you were expecting when I said that it was a more detail oriented model. And the reason why is because when you're using Chroma V48, you want to have a negative prompt or an avoid prompt, which I currently don't have because I wanted to show you that. So let's put in a nice avoid prompt on weird things that we don't want to get. Blurry, low quality, distorted, that kind of stuff. There's a good negative prompt for us. You can pause it if you want to read all of that. 
and time's up. Okay, let's generate it again now that we have a good negative prompt. See, we're getting so much more variety in them this time. And this is, a, the style is a science fiction concept art style, which isn't a specific style, but you notice when we did it with the flash model, like it did the same style on each of them. But when we do it with the detailed model, we're getting like very distinct different styles with the different images. We can cycle through them and see some of them are more minimal, some of them are more detailed. That is really cool. Let's do one more just for fun. Let's switch up our prompt and do a different style. We've got a diesel punk airship battle above industrial cityscape. If you want to pause that and read it, you certainly can. I'm gonna use the same avoid prompt. I think this is a pretty generic avoid prompt. I don't want any text or anything like that. If I wanted to actually put text in there, obviously I would pull text out of there. I'm gonna take out oversaturated. You know, maybe, maybe I don't want it to uh, hold back on the saturation. Let's see what it does. Cool, that's really rad. I actually really like how these ones look. We're getting such a, uh, just, I don't know, the, a cool design of it. I like the sepia colors, that was a great touch. Something else that I wanna show you is that I'm actually using, I'm not using a style prompt right now. We could totally use like a default one or we could grab something else, like maybe we did like a drawing pencil for this one, drawn with pencil, nice, simple style prompt. And let's generate one more time. Ooh, see that is really, really nice prompt adherence. All we changed was a small little style prompt drawn with pencil and it changed it very dramatically from where they were before. So that is excellent. That's all I got for you. Go check out these models, have fun with them, and I'll see you in the next video.